Okay, so choose what you want to believe to create the life that you want. It's an amazing statement, right? Well, the thing is, it's actually true. You, you get to choose what you want. And a lot of times we forget that fact. A lot of times we, we think that we're stuck with these beliefs, that they're somehow a part of us or that they're rock solid and they're never going to move or somehow that everything is preordained in our life, that this is just the way we are. But that's false. It's wrong. And kind of it's a lie because you get to choose what you want to believe in every single aspect of your life and especially what you believe about yourself and about what you believe that is possible. That is your birthright. It is what you came here to do. It's what it's your superpower, to be honest with you. Now, by the end of this video, what I want for you to understand is to really accept and believe that you can truly choose every single belief that you hold so that you can create the world that you want. And the second thing I want you to truly understand is the importance of this and why you absolutely need to do this. Because otherwise, you're left with all the beliefs that other people have told you, and then that creates your life. But it's not what we want to do. It's not what this series is about. And it's not what I'm about. I'm about choosing what you want to believe and then creating your life based on that. So if you haven't been here before, I'm uh, Michael Cole, and uh, I'm kind of like a cheerleader for exploring everything inside of ourselves, the uh, kind of like our heart, our minds, our souls, our, our spirit, our beliefs, because I really think that if we want to change our lives, that's where it begins from the inside. When you get that straightened out, the rest simply follows. So that's what we explore here. That's what I get into. So if you're interested in any of that, and if you haven't already, think about subscribing. I uh, Every week I put out a new video. Uh, currently I'm in the middle of this beliefs series, but I cover a lot of different topics, love and all these other things like that. Again, just trying to get everything straightened out within us to create the worlds that we truly want, our life the way we want. So. Let's, uh, let's get started with this. So choose what you want to believe to create the life that you want, right? Fantastic statement. <laughs> but the only problem is, is, I don't know if you're like me, but uh, really for most of my life when I was growing up, uh, I, I never was told that. Uh, nobody in school ever told me, and sure as hell my parents didn't, and my family didn't, and nobody on earth told me that. So what I was kind of left with, I think they were all pretty much busy uh, telling me what they believed, first of all. And then they told me what uh, they believed I should believe. And then finally, they all kind of heaped on and told me what they believed about me, which in a lot of ways ended up screwing me up pretty good uh, along the way. And maybe you can relate to that. So it's a little bit of a pain in the backside, but, you know, we deal with it. And that's what uh, all of this is about here. So let me, if I can right now, uh, if you need it, I'm going to give you my official permission to officially choose every single belief in your life, everything that you've always wanted to believe and everything that you've always been afraid to believe, I now grant you permission to be able to do that. And uh, you obviously know that I, you don't need my permission to do it. But I'm doing this episode on just this one topic because, you know, when I, when I talked about the limiting beliefs in the last episode right up there, and now that you know your limiting beliefs, you know what they are inside of you, I know you want to change those. I know you want to get onto that, and we will get to that. There'll be probably a number of videos to do it so I can do them justice. But the thing is, the things you have to remember, though, is that you kind of have to take a breath in life and remember that, oh, right, I'm the one who chooses what I believe. I'm the one who chooses what I believe about both myself and also what I believe is possible in this world, because those are at the core of everything. And you can already understand that that's what ends up creating our life. You have to understand that you choose that. And the thing that's so important about this is that we have to choose I don't want to sound like, you know, too crazy about it or anything, but in the end, we have to choose every single belief that we want inside of our heads, inside of our bodies, inside of our spirits and our souls. 
we have to choose every one of those because otherwise we're left with what? All those limited beliefs that people have taught us about and told us to believe or that we've come to believe through others or events and traumas and everything else like that. But you truly, I want you to understand, you truly get to choose every single belief in your life. And that's how you create the life that you want. Now, in the beginning, what we'll probably focus on here, obviously, will be the all of the limiting beliefs, right? Because that's what we all want to get rid of, because they limit us. They stop us from doing the things we want. And a lot of times, we don't even know they're there. And a lot of times, we don't know how to get rid of the damn things. But like I say, we'll get to that. But you have to come to accept the responsibility that you truly get to choose every belief that you want in your life. And, and I believe that this is really kind of one of our biggest superpowers in life because we're not limited by what others have taught us. A lot of times we think that we're preordained that, you know, I'm going to be a loser for the rest of my life or, you know, no one's going to love me or whatever the belief happens to be. But there's nothing locked in place about you or me or anyone on this planet. We get to choose what is at the core of our being. And those are the beliefs that we hold about ourselves and what we think is possible, what we believe is possible. We get to choose those. That is your superpower. You get to do that, but you have to exercise that power. And we will when we go to change the belief. But you have to understand that for all beliefs that you have, you have to do that. Let me get into just the very kind of core mechanism of what it takes to change a belief. And in the next episodes coming up, I it's funny because I, I never know what's going to happen because I'll sit down to shoot a video and something doesn't work out. And in the end, it's the video telling me, OK, here's what we need to do. So I need to shut up and listen to it. So my plan as of right now is to do about maybe two or three or four more videos because there are actually, I think, like four different phases that I went through of actually how I started to change my limited beliefs. And I'll take you through every one of those. Believe me, you'll know exactly what to do, how I did it, at least. And it has been very successful for me. But let's first of all look right now at what the just the simple mechanism of it is of how to change a belief. As we looked at those limited beliefs up there, right? We, we talked about this. We did the belief bubbles. So you know what your limited beliefs are, what you hold in your life. Or you may know it just from the way you live. So, and as I, as I just said in another video, which I'll link to right there, which is one of my definitions for what a belief is, is that it's simply a thought stuck on repeat. A belief is just a thought stuck on repeat. So you have a, a thought in your head. Let's say that, you know, oh, uh, well, you know, I never have enough money. Well, at the core, that was just simply a thought that you thought at one point and that you begin thinking many times. It gets stuck on repeat until it becomes a belief. And a belief just simply runs on its own, repeating that thought. And that's what we end up creating in our lives. And beyond that, those beliefs, many times you repeat it long enough and it becomes what we believe is rock solid fact. Okay, well, most beliefs, most facts in our life are really not that. They're kind of beliefs, what we hold about life. So what we have to do is we have to kind of like get that thing unstuck off of repeat. And the process that you do is you just simply, it's the classic version as I call it, which is you just take, in this case, you take the opposite belief and you focus on that and begin to repeat and repeat that with the feelings behind it until suddenly it takes over and becomes the belief that is the thought stuck on repeat. And in this case, if you know, I don't have any money, maybe you switch that over to, I have plenty of money or I am abundant. So that you keep repeating that one in your head through focus, through feeling and some tools and things that I'm going to get into. Don't worry about it. You keep repeating that until that becomes the belief that then kind of supplants the other one, the limited belief, and that one fades away. 
Occasionally they keep coming up, but it's always less and less and less each time. So that's the mechanism. You take the opposite belief, focus on it until it becomes this thought stuck on repeat. So that's what we're going to end up doing here. And um, so you need to choose. The most important thing is you need to choose that belief that you want to change over to. And again, you can, I think you can already tell that when you start changing those beliefs over to things like, uh, well, I am abundant. I, I, I have enough money. You know what? I'm pretty amazing. Then when you start feeling those things, they take over your life and they feel great inside and you feel solid and you start believing in yourself again. And that's the target that we're going after. Okay. That's the end point when we finally get to this whole end of this series. But the first thing you have to do is to choose that belief. But it's easy when you understand your limited beliefs, right? Because you know those really big bad ones and you just simply choose the opposite one. However, what ends up also happening, I found that when I started doing that, focusing on those limited beliefs, the main ones, what would end up happening at the same time is I would become aware of all of the other beliefs that I held. Again, a lot of them that I didn't realize what they were, a lot of them that I thought were fact until I finally, because now I'm in the mindset. Now you'll be in the mindset of being able to catch these things and realize, oh my God, I didn't really realize that I believed that, right? Just some small things along the way. So there'll be a parallel track that you're going to be going on. You'll be working at one point on the main belief that you want to get rid of, okay? But at the same time, you're going to be aware of this mechanism of these beliefs and how they truly are creating a reality. So that's what I meant, meant in the opening when I said you, you really have to come to understand that not only can you choose what you want to believe, you have to do this for literally everything in your life. Because those things, if you don't, if you're not aware of them, they be, they continue to create the life according to them, which usually is not what we want. So you're going to be aware of all these things. But again, the biggest thing is, and this is truly a superpower as far as I'm concerned, is actually knowing that you can choose what you want to believe. And those smaller ones that go along towards the bottom that you'll kind of recognize every once in a while, they're easy to get rid of. Pretty much when you just see them for the first time, you, you kind of realize, oh, that's a pile of crap. Why do I even believe that? That's stupid. And just in the awareness of that, it's as simple as that to release it. But it's those limited beliefs, the ones that have a lot of emotional attachment to it, uh, potentially, you know, big or small traumas, those are what usually take a little bit more work. And again, we'll be clearing through all of those with those kind of like four phases of what I went through and the different mechanisms of how I cleared those things. So what I'm trying to do with this whole series is I'm trying to break things down into manageable bits to keep it focused. So we can all get the concepts one at a time because I think they're incredibly important. And like I keep banging home on this one is that this one is incredibly important. It's probably one of the more important ones there to understand that you truly have the power of the gods because you can choose what it is you hold as a belief about yourself and about what's possible for you in this world. And by focusing on those and changing those, you will change your life. But you have to understand, first of all, that you have that ability. You can choose those beliefs. And it's magic that you can. And then you start changing everything. And then it's, it becomes fun because you know you start to see it in your life when things begin to change little by little. And you become even more empowered until you understand the sheer magnitude of this superpower of being able to choose what you want to believe to create the life that you want. So start it this week, okay? Start it this week and start looking at your beliefs 
and begin the process, even before we're talking about how to do this, begin the process of choosing what you want to believe. Understand that you choose every belief inside of your life, inside of your head, inside of your mind. But that's your power. That's the God that you are inside because you can choose that. And when you begin to choose that, your life really, truly begins to change. So try it this week. Choose. Choose what you want to believe. And watch your life become what you've always wanted. Love you. Thank you.